phase two of the $3,000 Dodge Charger Daytona. Let's take a look at what I've done so far and what I have left to go. Let's get started. So there's been a lot of parts that we've already upgraded or changed out and this thing is starting to look amazing and you guys are going to check it out here in a minute. It's really, really sweet. And right here I... Oh, crap. Good thing it's the old one. Let's take a look at it. Did you guys jump off your seat? I would too. But luckily, this is the old one. This is the one that had dents in it, and whoever had this car before me thought that they could fix it with a Stanley flat screwdriver. From the inside out, you can see lines where they, like a hammer and a chisel. I don't know. I had a, a buddy of mine that actually does body work. I had him come and look at it, and he took one look and said, yeah, bro, that thing's done. They stretched the metal so bad, they used basically a chisel on there, and it's ruined. He said, we might be able to fix it, but by the time we get done with it, you can get a good used door for as much or less than us trying to fix it. So luckily, I found a salvage yard up in Wisconsin that gave us a new door, and it looks very, very much better. It's actually kind of tough to find a top banana yellow door, but I found one. For 500 bucks, including shipping, everything. It's already installed. Let me grab this box over here. Here's the old fog lights. They're all vaped out. I don't know how you could see anything in or out of these things. They look horrible and they're cracked. So those are trash. The old headlights. I can't even see you guys. And where the bulb snaps in or twists in is all melted. So, this one's even worse. So that junk is off the vehicle. Let's go take a look around this vehicle and let you guys see phase two. There's still more to go, but I have some questions for you guys and I want to show you some updates. Take a look at that, guys. It looks like a new charger now. I got both of these headlights with the park lamps included for 120 bucks. Look at those fog lamps, guys. They're yellow to match the car. Yellow fog light, gang. And look below those fog lights. No more missing chin spoiler. These cars came from the factory with a chin spoiler. This one showed up missing. Now it has a nice new one installed. And I have my Blackbeard flag, my pirate flag also installed onto the bumper. There's still some discolorations here with the paint. I'm gonna get a magic eraser and try to get some of this stuff off, but even if it doesn't come perfectly clean with 250,000 miles on it and I only paid three grand for it, I'm just gonna run with it. It looks pretty good as it is. Let's head around to the other side. I don't have to do anything really with the wheels. Those are the stock Daytona wheels. They look really amazing. But here we arrive at the door that's been replaced, and it is a perfect match. I couldn't ask for a better match, and for the price I paid, no more dents. But if you see the belt line right here, I followed you guys' advice and used some dental floss and a heat gun, and I was able to peel off all the trim pieces, the belt molding, and I'm not happy with the results chipped some of the paint. Some of the paint was already corroded underneath and all we've done is just reveal all of that. Luckily I found a guy on eBay who remakes exact color matched belt moldings with adhesive already installed for 120 bucks all four. So those are ordered and they will be going back on. That's way cheaper than getting the doors repainted. So I, li I like the, the clean look. I would like to go with the clean look but not when it looks like that. So, that will be taken care of. But the door turned out very, very nice. It opens and closes perfect. Very happy with that. It still has the dent here where someone backed into something and curled that. I think that'll be a part of phase three. We'll remove this tail light and see if I can curl that back down. 
maybe even try to glue this back on. If, they did, if the damage was all the way down through here, I might try to look for another bumper. But I think I can make that look presentable and look decent. We'll see what we can do with it. If you look at those exhaust tips, it no longer has the straight pipe nasty NASCAR sounding sounds to it. It has the same mufflers that are on the SS truck that you guys just saw in the video. And it sounds amazing. Let me start it up for you guys real quick. Doesn't that sound so much more amazing? It sounds quiet, but refined. It sounds powerful and refined. That's kind of what I'm going for there. So we'll go down this side. Really no serious damage or anything. Again, I'll be putting the belt moldings back on. And one last thing on the front, if we go to the grill, you see if Mrs. Wizard approves of my handiwork. I took the badge off, the paint was all gone, and I actually painted it with the same crinkle paint that we use on Ferrari valve covers. It looks pretty good, Wizard. Yeah, and I scraped the chrome edges off so it all looked like original. Now it really pops and it's crinkle finish. I have cleaned the engine bay and we also have replaced the hood latch release handle. It was broken. Now it opens nice and easy. But it was a dirt bag under the hood. It was nasty and it's a lot cleaner. I put simple green all over everything and just washed it down is all I did. And I probably could go a little further, but I'm just going to run this thing. Me and Mrs. Wizard have been driving this thing all over. We took it to Wichita and back and all over the place and even to the Newton Car Show for a supposed shelled out engine. It runs perfect. And I have a theory on that I'll explain here in a little bit. But everything's in its place. Everything runs great. I'm really, really happy with the car so far. When I first got this car, when you would drive it, it sounded like metal crunching on metal and the front suspension was so bad it was like you were taking crashed metal pieces and rubbing them together like <laughs> and I kind of thought that's what the previous owners thought was wrong with the engine but now I got the exhaust fix and everything's sounding really good I noticed something you guys know as well as I do this has MDS on it and it functions properly it basically goes from V8 to V4. It turns it into a four-cylinder mode. It's very similar to the Chevy's active fuel management, but it's called multiple displacement system here on the Chrysler vehicles, MDS. And when you're cruising around, just like the previous owner mentioned, at 30 miles an hour, 40, it starts running really bad, is what the, the previous owner said. Something is wrong with this engine. It runs horrible, but it doesn't. All it's doing is going into four-cylinder mode. It now has half the power. And when you have an exhaust system on these, you guys know they, they sound like a bumblebee. It sounds, it sounds like something's wrong, but there's nothing wrong. That's the way it sounds in four-cylinder mode. It kind of was like the same amount of power that 96 Blazer I had back in the day. Yeah, it's like, Bruh. it sounds really weird. And I can be led to believe that if you're not mechanically inclined and your car is doing that and you're not familiar with the MDS system, you would be led to believe that your car is screwed. Something is wrong with it. It's either that or they thought the struts, the noise was the shelled out engine because it runs so good, it runs perfect. We are going to show a little bit on video here. I'm going to replace this defrost panel. It should be a quick little job. It's all cracked up. You saw in the previous video, it looks really bad. I do want to get this thing up to snuff. Even the way it is already, I'm getting looks all over town because just like I mentioned in the last video, these things are gone, guys. They're hardly out there anymore. And these people around here are seeing this car. They're like, oh my God, there's actually a nice one that still exists. And I'm getting thumbs up. I'm getting peace signs, waves, and smiles. All kinds of cool stuff. People are like, wow, that's sweet, man. So let's get this defroster panel off. So the first thing you do is you take the A-pillars off. I've got one side already off. I'll go ahead and pull this one off. They just snap off and back on.
Okay, we got that off. Now we will take the actual defrost panel off. There's that half that was already broke. There's, I guess, a third. It's in thirds. And I'll go over there and get the other one. One thing I've learned over the years is sometimes when you pull this trim apart, it sounds like it's breaking everything. It's, it just sounds really bad, but it's, it's actually not breaking anything. You do have to be careful though. This is a good used panel. I got on eBay. Make sure they're all positioned. There we go. Look at that guys, look across the dash. No more cracks. So we now have that checked off of our list. Let's get out of this hot, nasty interior. So as you can see, it's coming along very nicely. I still have phase three, which will be the final phase. And as you saw, the seats are pretty torn up. I'm gonna have those redone by low and upholstery. And this week I do have some people coming up on the windshield to get that nasty cracked windshield out. I also have the belt moldings that need to go on. There's some belly pans and some things I'll show you guys on the underneath. That'll be on the next video. I want to give you guys an update on the 2006 Charger Daytona. I bought it for 3000 and I currently am about 1000 into it. I think I'll probably be all in five by the time everything else is done. You can't buy a nice one for that. These things go 10, 15, 20,000 and bring a trailer. I think it'll be a really sweet car, although I'll never get past the fact that it has 250,000 miles. That will plague this car for the rest of its life. But for what I paid for it, I don't care. I'm going to drive this thing around and really enjoy it. If the engine shelled out or broke, and you guys have mentioned what does shelled out or roached out mean? And the definition of that is means it's completely destroyed, it's ruined. That's what that means. If the engine were to shell out tomorrow, I'll put a good used one in it and keep rolling it. There's no rust on this car. Zero rust. The suspension is tight. Everything is rolling real smooth and real nice. Why not keep going? And all the thumbs up and everything I'm getting on this car and the approval of everyone, they don't even know it has 250,000 miles on it. And it runs like it has 50,000 miles on it. So 
Just like with Hoovy's Garage, there are ups and downs to buying hoopties. This is definitely an up. I really scored with this car. So if you're curious what kind of tools we're using to fix this car, Junior Mint's been doing the work. Check out my Amazon affiliates link in the description below. We get a small cut and we really appreciate it. And make sure to hit the subscribe button because a car just showed up today that you guys are going to love. Thanks for watching.